Yo guys, what the fuck is up? Today I got you a little bit of a late tutorial, uh, in-depth tutorial on how to exactly get the so-called plunger uh, here on Der Eisendraka, the new DLC on the PS4, soon coming out for the Xbox One. Uh, I know this is a little bit of a late tutorial, but if you guys didn't know, this has been in the game since the map has released. However, it did not work properly and they have recently um, updated how it actually functions. Um, I'll get into more detail later on, but in this tutorial, I'm going to be going in depth on how to exactly get the plunger, uh, all the steps leading up to getting it uh, very detailed. Uh, and on top of that, I'm going to be telling you all all the perks that you get from it and some of the uh, drawbacks as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into that. The first step here is go ahead and make your way up to the clock tower and come all the way up and shoot this little spot on the wall. Um, like as if you're going to start the upgrade quest for the fire bow or lava bow. Uh, shoot it with an unupgraded bow or upgraded bow, it doesn't matter, and place your gravity spikes down, and this should begin the first step in actually being able to get this plunger. So now what I like to do is, if I'm going to set up a high round game, I go ahead and find the four posters on the wall while this is going that I need to get for the wolf bow, and usually whenever I return, the Ragnaroks are good to go for me to pick up and uh, go ahead and do so, because otherwise I, I usually forget them. So yeah, I definitely want to go pick those back up. And uh, here on to the second step, you're going to come up to this little control panel in the actual bell tower room, and you're going to hold square on that little lever right there, and what that is going to actually do is start this clock moving from um, the time of 1.15, I believe it is, and you are going to basically wait for that hand to move all the way around until it gets into the position of 9.35. Now, this will take a few minutes. Sadly, it's really annoying, uh, especially if you fail uh, the next step. It can be really annoying and very time consuming, but in my opinion, if you're playing co-op, this is all worth it in the end. Uh, not so much in solo, but I will get to that in a later step. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the next step in this tutorial. Alright, so like I said, gonna be a little bit of a wait here. But when it uh, when the bigger hand goes towards the 30th uh, minute there, you're just gonna count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And as soon as you hear 5, you're gonna pull uh, that lever there. And it should stop the clock right there on 935, which is what you're gonna look for. And you're gonna know it's right whenever uh, lightning strikes and you see it goes to actually 936. Uh, there in the bell tower. Uh, from there, we can go ahead and advance on to the undercroft section of the map for the next step. So once you're here, another good indicator to tell you that you did the step correctly is there will be another big blue ball on top of the original blue ball there on the MPD or the low gravity pyramid, whatever you want to call it. And the next step here on step three, all you have to do is uh, these four little blue circles here on the wall while there is low gravity you're going to have to complete one full lap all the way around the uh, undercroft section here on the map. And what it's going to do is it's going to teleport you back in time. And that is where we're going to move on to our next step of actually picking up the plunger. So as you see me doing right here, I'm not actually hitting any of the blue circles. I'm just simply completing one full lap uh, starting over there where you enter at the undercroft. And as you'll see as I go across the last one, it's going to give me a weird screen and then teleport me back in time here, black and white. And all you're going to do is turn all the way around here on this table right next to the teleporter and hold square or X or not. Yeah, X on Xbox whenever you all get it. And you are going to there pick up the plunger. And yeah, that's all there is to it to actually being able to get the plunger. Now we're going to move on to how to actually upgrade. All right. So in order to upgrade this bad boy, it's actually fucking awesome. Um, you're going to upgrade it into a flaming pun plunger. Sorry. Um, all you have to do is wait for a panzer to spawn in. And I don't know what you all have heard, but all you have to do is get the kill on the panzer. It doesn't matter what you kill him with. Just kill the panzer. And you will see that you get a flaming animation on the plunger, therefore indicating that it is upgraded. At least for the minute anyway. So here it is. Panzer just spawned in, and I'm just going to run out of my little peephole. And come on up here to the... Tesla, whatever the fuck it is, the goddamn, the death ray, that's what it is. Um, 
This is usually what I like to do to take care of the Panzer. It's usually the easiest way. All you have to do is turn on the little trap there. It's gonna bring him up in the air and then you just, yeah, you just scrape him. He dies pretty quick. So um, here in a second, you all will see that the plunger now has a flame effect to it. And that's about all there is to actually being able to upgrade it. Um, like I've said about 20 times before, it's only gonna last for a minute, but I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the gameplay of me actually just killing the zombies. So uh, other than that, let's go ahead and get back into the pros and cons. Um, the thing about the plunger is uh, now the new patch that they implemented only lets you have the plunger upgraded for a minute. Uh, I think a minute tops actually. And what it does is it insta-kills any panzer, any zombie that you can possibly melee within that one minute time frame. And that's why I said it was really good on co-op because if you're getting into the round, you know, round 30, round 40, you're having two or three Panzers spawn in, really big, you know, really big annoyance to have to take out each one of those guys, you know, one by one. So what this plunger basically lets you do is get one kill for one Panzer, it then upgrades itself into the flaming plunger, and all you have to do is go up to a Panzer, or zombie, or whatever you want to kill whenever those guys spawn in, and just plunge him, and he'll just disappear, and that's all there is. Um, I've seen guides out there that say that you have to get the panzer kill with the plunger or you have to do this, that, and the other. All you really have to do is just get a panzer kill and yeah, it'll upgrade it. But like I said, it's only for a minute, so use it very wisely. Uh, it's not really that effective on solo because you only get one panzer at a time. But yeah, guys, uh, sadly, yeah, not, not, not very effective on solo. Um, I only really play solo zombies, so... I don't really know what it's like on co-op. I imagine it's really, really good. Uh, that's one of the good, you know, pros I can think of. Um, definitely, if you're playing co-op, if you're, a, you know, like playing with your friends a lot. Uh, but yeah. So let's go ahead and dive into the detailed pros and cons. I mean, one pro, like I already said, it's gonna take out multiple Panzers very, very easy, and all the community does or not really all the community does, but what a lot of people say is the Panzer is a little bit overpowered and he can, you know, kill you really easily whenever it comes to, you know, flamethrowering you and you slow down and then you can't sprint and you can't move and then zombies will catch up to you, etc, etc. Uh, that's, that's a con to the Panzer, really, but pro to the Plunger is that you're not going to really have to deal with the Panzer all that much. Um, a common misconception, which is a con, um, for this plunger is that once you upgrade it, it's going to be upgraded, you know, for the rest of the game. And as far as I know, that's not how it's supposed to be, at least that's not how Treyarch intends it for it to be. There might be a glitch to enable it to where, you know, you're going to be able to have it for an unlimited amount of time. I, I don't really know. I don't know of one right now, but it would be extremely overpowered, obviously, if that was the case. But... Treyarch did release a patch that therefore, you know, it fixed the original fire plunger where it didn't do, I don't think it did enough damage to kill a panzer, it didn't one shot the panzer, I, I don't know, it did something like that, but they fixed it, so I'm pretty sure they have it where they want it, they're probably not going to change it anymore, which is another con, it only stays around for a minute, um, and other than that, I mean, you can, you know, the, the melee on it isn't the best either, because whenever you like say you're gonna go up and plunge a zombie it's going to you're gonna lean into plunge or to knife whatever you want to call it and you're gonna kind of like stick there for a second i don't know why i guess they kind of just changed the animation for how you knife with it but you stick there for a second and it leaves you really vulnerable to zombie attacks and stuff like that so i only really recommend using this on the panzer and like i said only really for co-op sadly so um, a lot of common misconceptions I've tried to cover in this. Um, hopefully you all have learned a little bit more. Uh, I kind of just did this on my own, just kind of researched, you know, tried it out. I have a, you know, I do have a couple of friends that I play with and, you know, it, it really does help out, especially if you want to take the time to get it because once one person gets it, all the people get the plunger and, you know, like I said, only one person has to really be watching the clock and plus if you're playing co-op, the person can be, one person can be watching the clock while another person is waiting to press that little control panel but yeah I, I don't know that's that's about all there is for the pros and the cons um if you guys can think of a little bit more 
you know, leave them down in the comments. Anything that you guys know that's, you know, more than me. I try to follow the uh, COD Zombie subreddit a lot and read up on what people find. But if there is, if there's anything that I didn't cover that you all think is really, really good information, leave it in the comments. I'll add an annotation to the video. But um, other than that, that's been the tutorial that I have for you all um, in depth on what the plunger does, pros and cons, how to actually get it and upgrade it. And uh, yeah, like I said, that's going to be about it for this video. And until the next time, you guys take care, and I'll talk to you all later.